Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called number of calls between two persons and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 19th video of the series called number of calls between two persons. If I look at the company, this question has been asked in. So Facebook book and amazon quite a number of times so let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called calls with three different columns from id to id and duration this table does not have a primary key that is column with unique values and it may contain duplicates this table contains the duration of a phone call between from id and to id and then are not same we are asked to write a solution to report the number of calls and the total call duration between each pair of distinct persons that is person 1 and person 2 where person 1 is less than person 2 order of the result does not matter okay let's go through this example so here we have various people who place the call so from and to the person who they called and the duration of the call so obviously if we look at various combinations so from 1 to 2 or from 2 to 1 obviously the two people that are talking are 1 and 2 right so both of these two should be considered as one distinct pair and what is the total duration of 1 and 2 is 59 plus 11 that is 70 similarly for 1 3 there is only one one of these rows so 20 for 3 4 we have 1 2 3 and this one is also 3 4 right so you sum all these things up and that is what we have in our output okay so the first thing that we need to do is in this case is we can create so in our output we need the person one and person two so basically we can use you take the columns from id and to id whichever is smaller that is called person one because it says right person one is always less than person two so and similarly you take the from id and to id and the greater one is going to be person two so what we can do is we can create those columns so that we have the distinct pairs arranged in the manner that we want so what i'm saying is from this table called calls what we can do is we can have okay return now you might be thinking okay let's take from id and to id and perform the minimum no but remember minimum works like this right so downwards minimum of from id and to id it won't work minimum of from id it will work so we need to get another function that actually calculate row wise minimum or maximums and that is called the least function so least of from id and to id so whichever is least is person one right so as person one similarly we need to get get the greatest of these two is going to be the person two so if i go ahead and do greatest of from id and to id is person two and then we need to get the duration part so third column is duration let me go ahead and run this and let's see whether we are getting the person one and person two as is required by us okay so if i look at our output so now if you look at these right so this is what we had one two fifty nine one two fifty nine and then we had two and one but since we are saying that least one is so least out of these two is one so that is person one and this is person two and the duration is 11 right similarly for everything else now once we have this what we can do is we can group by person one and person two and sum the duration column and that is going to give you the total duration and you can simply count star to get the number of call counts so what i'm saying is this is going to give you this right from this and then what we can do is group by right group by person one and person two but this entire thing is basically person one this entire thing is basically person two person one that is the least of from id and to id and then person two which is basically the greatest of these two so copy this here paste it here and then what you need to do is let me just bring it down here okay so group by these two so return this as person one person two and we need the call count call count is basically going to be count star so count of star is going to be call count let me just you know bring it down here so that it's easier for us to write so as call count and then what we need is we also need the duration that is total duration so we basically sum the duration column and that is going to give you the total duration as total 
duration okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output right let me go ahead and let me just drag it left okay and let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how to do it so not a very difficult question but what we had to do was firstly we need to rearrange this from ids and to ids in the manner that we want so that we can identify the distinct groups and do not classify one and two as different from two and one because two same people are talking it's just that who is calling and who is getting the call once we identified those groups then we simply counted the number of calls and sum the duration to get the total duration so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video